So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Boxing. make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, WBO Cruiserweight Champion Alexander Usek says that he would like to make the jump to the heavyweight division in the next couple of years. And the fight he has his eyes on is with unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, obviously Anthony Joshua is seen as the main guy in the heavyweight division right now and it depends if Anthony Joshua is the main guy in a couple of years when Alexander Usyk plans to move up the heavyweight he says he still needs to do things in the cruiserweight division he still needs to unify at cruiserweight he says he wants all the belts in the cruiserweight division and then he wants to take out some fighters in the heavyweight division and try and become a world champion there as well Alexander Usyk is a very schooled very talented fighter, former Olympic gold medalist and so far in his pro career he's looked fantastic, he's what 12-0, and 0, managed to pick up a world title in his 10th fight against Galawake and after that he's had a couple of defences against Machunu in which he stopped Machunu in 9 rounds and then he fought Michael Hunter in a fight which wasn't really a brilliant performance by Usek not like his past performances, but he still managed to get the job done against Hunter, who came to really fight in that fight and was an undefeated fighter going into it as well. So, yeah, I think Usek is the best fighter in the cruiserweight division right now. I know you've got guys like Marius Bredus and Murat Gassiev and Denis Lebedev and Tony Bellew if he ever comes back down to cruiserweight and Kuri Ashoff as well in Russia. But I think that Usek is a better fighter than all of them fighters. I think this guy is very talented. He's just one of these fighters who is just very well schooled. He's very, very fast. Like, the way this guy is so fast is crazy. He's got a fantastic jab. His work rate is very well. He's very good at slipping shots. Great head movement. He can throw shots at many different angles. He's very balanced as well when he's in the ring. Like, this guy all round from a technical aspect is a very very good fighter and I know people are all saying that he might be too small for the heavyweight division but he says that when he gets into the heavyweight division he wants to be about 220 pounds he says that's the weight he wants to be so I think he's saying he wants to be this weight because I still think he wants to keep some of his speed because that is a very very big attribute of Alexander Usek is his speed his balance and the way he can throw punches at very awkward angles and still manage to move his feet to get away from what the opponent's throwing back at him. Like, this is a very talented fighter. So, against the heavyweights, at the end of the day, heavyweight fighters are very big, they're very strong, they hit very hard. Like, one punch can change a whole fight in the heavyweight division. So, it'll be interesting to see how Usyk will get on with somebody the size of an Anthony Joshua in the future. But, he has fought in the World Series of Boxing against some big men. Alexander Usek, the World Series of Boxing is it's semi-pro boxing, really. It's not quite amateur, it's not quite professional, it's semi-pro. And he fought guys like Joe Joyce, who is a very big man, Olympic silver medalist at super heavyweight. And he absolutely battered Joe Joyce. From a technical point of view, Joe Joyce isn't... The same as an Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is a better fighter than a Joe Joyce, in my opinion. But the way that Alexander Usyk battered somebody like Joe Joyce, who is a lot bigger than him in terms of size, then it'd be interesting to see how Usyk will go on against other big men in the heavyweight division. I think he has a style, he has the speed, he has the power to really make a noise in the heavyweight division in the future. But at the end of the day, they are very big men in the heavyweight division and one punch can change a fight. Anthony Joshua, very athletic, um, hits very hard. Like Vladimir Klitschko, from a technical point of view, was a lot better than Anthony Joshua in the first fight they had on April 29th. But Anthony Joshua's strength, his youth, his toughness got him the victory in that fight and his power as well. But Alexander Usek is, what, only 30 years old? And if he plans to go up to the heavyweight division in the next couple of years, he'll only be 33 years old. And then Anthony Joshua would be like 29 years old. So there's not much age difference. Not like the Vladimir Klitschko fight where there was about 14, 15 years age difference between him and Anthony Joshua. 
So yeah, that's a very interesting fight if it happens in the future. And I think Usek will dominate the cruiserweight division and we'll, we'll see this guy in the heavyweight division in the future. Do we see him against guys like Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Joseph Parker? Well, it all depends if them guys are still relevant if Usek moves up the heavyweight because the heavyweight division, it could just flip on its head in the night. We saw that when Tyson Fury defeated Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko ruled the heavyweight division for 10 years, but with the loss to Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury blew the door wide open again and really got the heavyweight division buzzing. So we know that one fight could change the dynamics of the heavyweight division, but it'll be very interesting to see how it pans out by the time Usyk moves up the heavyweight. So yeah, what do you guys think of this? Comment below in the comment section. It's JMXB Boxing.